Hello everyone, today we are going to see a problem based on strain energy. Let us read the question one time. Calculate the deflection under the point load. A simply supported beam is given. The beam is carrying 40 kN point load on the center. Under this point load, we have to calculate the deflection. The total length of the beam is given 10 meter. For the first half 5 meter, the moment of inertia is 2i. For the second half 5 meter, the moment of inertia is i. Under the point load 40 kN, let us make a point that is point C. Now let us calculate the reactions. In this beam, we are having symmetrical loading condition. The point load is acting on the center. So we can easily calculate the reactions R A R B. The total load divided by 2, we are getting 20 kN for R A and R B. In this beam, we are having two different parts. The first part A C and the second part C B. So for finding out the strain energy due to bending, we have to make two parts. U1 is for the first half. U2 is for the second half. So we have to make two sections. The first section for AC and the second section for CB. The limits for the first section will be 0 to 5. The limits for the second section also 0 to 5. For the first part, the moment of inertia is 2i. So instead of i, we have to apply 2i in the strain energy formula. 2 into 2, we will get 4. You can see that I have made two sections. The first section between A and C. The second section between B and C. Now let us calculate M1. For that we have to take moment about the section. We are having only one load up to the section that is 20 kN and the distance is x so 20 into the distance x we will get m1 now let us calculate m2 for that we have to take moment about the section up to the section we are having only one load that is 20 kN so the moment will be 20 into the distance x so here also we are having 20 into x so m1 and m2 are same now we can apply the values of M1 and M2 in the strain energy formula. These two integrations are same. We can take it outside. Then we can add these two values. We have to take LCM. Let us keep 4 as the LCM. So we have to multiply this value with a 2 on the numerator and a denominator. Then we can add 1 plus 2 we will get 3, 20 square we will get 400, we can take 400 outside because it is constant, then we can cut this 4 and 400, here we will get 100, 3 into 100 we will get 300. Now we can start integrating, when we integrate x square it will become x power 3 by 3, then we can apply the limits. Only apply the upper limit because the lower limit is 0 when we apply the whole term will become 0. So no need to apply the lower limit and waste the time. Instead of x we have to apply 5. Finally we are getting u is equal to 12500 by ei. We know the formula for the work done by the load. Half into load into deflection. In this beam. We are going to calculate the deflection under the point load 40 kN. So for the load we have to apply 40. We know that strain energy is equal to work done by the load. So we can equate the value of U and the work done by load. We can take 40 and 2 on the left side. 2 will come in the numerator and 40 will come in the denominator. Finally, we are getting YC is equal to 625 by EI. In the question, the values of Young's modulus and moment of inertia are given. 
we can apply the values after the calculations we are getting yc is equal to 0.0223 meter otherwise we can multiply this value by 1000 we will get in millimeter now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video